he became an icon to many young people across the African continent. Today, he remains a shining example of that African resilient story. <laughs> Isaac Robert today uh, Tina TV is right here in Bombing County to be beside Tottenham City where the Coalition for Democratic Change is today we are hosting uh, a program in honor of the Senate Bearer and the Vice Senate Bearer of the Coalition for Democratic Change. George Manning, we are in Senator Joy Howard Taylor. As you see in my back, uh, we are right here to uh, this occasion where we see many librarians from Bombing County here today to grace this occasion. Uh, many young people, not just young people, but people of, uh, of different background, different sectors of the county are here to welcome the Senate Bearer of the Coalition for Democratic Change and the Vice Senate Bearer. Uh, many young people are here and they are rejoicing with smile on their faces to who we are. Then this is the county of the uh, president of Liberia, of Madam Ellen Johnson Salif. This is where she come from. This is the, cap, uh, the county of the former speaker of the House of Representatives. So, Tina TV, we're taking it from right here. We are here to cover this all-important program from the Coalition for Democratic Change as they come into Bombing County. This county is said to be the stronghold of the ruling Unity Party, but Ambassador George Manning, we are is to say that the, there is no party from the county. Because he sleeps so much, 
because he sleeps so much, he don't have time to drive the car. This is why you see Buaka is blaming the president that she implore her children that why the government failed. No, the government failed because Buaka as a vice president did not.